Dear Chuckles, want the real scoop on Mysterio? Head to Wonder Studios now, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another Retro Shiz look back at the past, and today, heading all the way back to around 1996-1997 for a little Toy Biz slash the company Bluebird Toys team up. Little bit of an international release. These ones maybe kind of sort of came over to America in some instances. Some people did say they picked them up at KB Toys, which is interesting, but I think it was very limited, being uh, basically this Wonder Studios and then the prior Scorpion one that we looked at last week. But yes, lo and behold, this is the Wonder Studios Spider-Man play case by Bluebird Toys and Toy Biz, and of course it features Mysterio. In fact, one episode in particular, the Menace of Mysterio, which was a Season 1 episode. And as you can see, the play case is molded much like a Mighty Max case. But of course, just simply replace Mighty Max with old Spider-Man here, who appears to be crouching on a bricked building, from what I can understand. And it's just kind of interesting. Overall, it's just nice that it works out in terms of having a crouching Spider-Man. And then as you kind of see, as you turn it around and slowly examine it... Yeah, it's just uh, there's not much to it. It's just basically a giant box shaped like Spider-Man. But, of course, on the backside, much like the Scorpion one, you get to see 1996, the Marvel characters, Toy Biz, Made in China, yada yada. And, of course, it has the little standee right here, the little web wing, which can be pulled out and acts as a tripod stand, right? So your little play case doesn't go falling every which way, which this one, it might have some issues here or there, just going to say. But uh, overall, it's just nice to have this, right? And of course, it's a little bit of a clamshell. You just simply undo it right there, unfold it, and uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a trip to Wonder Studios, which in the uh, Spider-Man animated continuity was Quentin Beck's last known address. And lo and behold, here is Wonder Studios seen in all of its animated glory. Now, as opposed to the one we looked at last week with Scorpion, this one kind of goes out of, we'll say, episode continuity order, which is not a bad thing, but you have the control room panel, which Mysterio basically sat in for the latter part of the episode. You have all the lights and the cameras. It's very cinematic, as Mysterio would prefer it. But from the microphone to the booth and the wires and everything else, yeah, it's pretty much recreated beautifully in terms of the toy to the animated series. I mean, he doesn't have all the control panels and everything else, but you get the idea, right? Wonder Studios, the sign, the control panel area, you got the lights, and then you move down to when they start bringing out the robots, which I always thought was cool, right? Animatronics, Jurassic Park was a big thing back then. Spider-Sense is going off, going crazy, because lo and behold, all these little creatures start coming out of the woodworks. And again, that was pretty interesting. You had the Cyclops, you had the Medusa, and all these monsters, I mean, are nothing. It's more for just show and spectacle, which, again, Mysterio uses to kind of freak you out and turn reality into whatever he wants to make it. But if you see right here, it's kind of an alien creature, lizard monster, kind of sort of reminds me of the dinosaur robot. And I thought that would have been actually a pretty cool aspect. If you could have had a pull-out dinosaur robot and thrown Spider-Man into the mouth, just like the episode, that would have been cool. And then you have the big spinny wheel of death. And if you're not going to do the dinosaur robot, well, I'm definitely glad that they threw that in there. And like I said, it's all out of continuity order for how Spider-Man fights Mysterio, right? This is kind of more so in the beginning, but just the fact that they watched the episode, they showed me they watched the episode, they made an attempt to really put everything in there that would just make you remember this particular Menace of Mysterio episode. And it's just really cool to see all that. And the fact that, yeah, you can put Spider-Man on this giant wheel and basically recreate what happens... Yeah, that's totally awesome as well. Now, moving down, you see more mechanical pieces. You got the whole computer systems. That kind of sort of fits. And then you have the giant pit with only one spider. But more on that in just a second. Because as cool as this play case is, we do have some minifigures to talk about as well. Now, you do basically get some of the same accessories throughout most of these play cases. So, you have the giant web string, you have the web splatter right there, which you can as fix to all the different portholes that are on the play case, 
And then you have a little tiny mini Mysterio. And again, much like the Scorpion, he's beautifully recreated in terms of his animated aesthetics. And for as small as he is, he's painted well. You have Spider-Man, which I'm glad you could see this version as opposed to the one that came with my Scorpion play case. More paint, this time in a crouching position. Doesn't stand all too well. Again, very pre-posed, but it's cool for what it is. And then you have this weirdo thing, right? What could this possibly be? Right? Somebody looked at this and be like, what Spider-Man villain is this? Well, at the beginning of the episode, when Spider-Man drops into Wonder Studios and he sees Mysterio, although he thinks it's Mysterio, he pulls the fishbowl up, and it's basically a werewolf animatronic creature. And it really doesn't do anything. Again, it's played for laughs, played for, it's an animatronic, shouldn't do too much. And Spider-Man basically just pushes the thing over, which is hilarious. But because it's all one solid color and black and it's got a little porthole in the back, yeah, it's definitely supposed to be mimicking that creature, which, hey, that's pretty dang cool as well. So heading back to Wonder Studios, right? You got everything set up. Mysterio is ready for his grand finale, right? And uh, you put Mysterio in his little control booth and he's ready to just bark orders, push buttons, pull levers, and utterly destroy Spider-Man, Lieutenant Lee, and J. Jonah Jameson. And to be honest, yeah, that would have been cool to kind of have them maybe in like a net or something, something like a crane you could hold over the uh, little pits of spiders at the very bottom. Just saying, right? So Spider-Man, he gets the address, he webs in. But then, of course, Mysterio does this whole vanishing trick. He pushes this button and a puff of smoke envelops Mysterio and he disappears. It does happen quite a bit in the actual episode. We'll say in the mall, for instance, right? When he disappears. So I like that. That's an interesting, fun little element that you can play, kids can play with. You push the button again and it flicks right back up. Now, you take the little werewolf monster creature, right? And he's gonna go right here on this lever and you simply as fix him just like that. And while this doesn't, again, happen as it has in the episode, it's just, again, a cool play feature and the fact that they included him. And it's like he's popping out of the shadows, ready to attack Spider-Man. And I dig that. So you take Mysterio and you got Spider-Man and he drops him onto the big spinny wheel of death. Now, this is where it gets kind of frustrating. Because of the way this Spider-Man is pre-posed, you can't really asphyx him to it all too well, to be honest with you. You can try to use the web splat. You can try to just kind of fit his foot in between the two little pegs and it will stay if you don't move him around but once you start moving around like i want to do for this video uh yeah you'll start to see also the pegs on this one it they don't exactly fit the web splat trying putting his hand in it's much better off with the uh scorpions play case spider-man just because he's more outstretched right and that way he just kind of fits better stays on there better doesn't slide around so I definitely recommend that Spider-Man if you want to go that route. So Spider-Man drops down to the lower level. He sees J. Jonah Jameson and, of course, Terry Lee in the net. He wants to save him, but uh, no, not yet because uh, we'll just say uh, out of continuity, right? The monster pops out and attacks Spider-Man. Who cares, right? Who cares about continuity at this point? The fact that they are able to fit all this in here, I don't even know where you begin with making a toy like that. But, uh, yeah, like I said, you push and have the little monster pop out and, again, basically having him stand and you get the idea, right? You could just have him knock Spider-Man over. You know how these things go at this point when I do these Toy Biz videos. From projectiles to moving levers, nothing ever wants to work and do as I say. So you have Spider-Man and he gets knocked and uh, attacked and whatever and he ends up falling into the pit, right? And you'll notice there are supposed to be two spiders in this particular scene. And of course he webs out when he uh, throws a web line to the net containing J. Jonah Jameson and Terry Lee. And he pulls like he's never pulled before and manages to get out of the spiders. Now, what would those spiders have done? It's all animatronics. They're not meant to do anything. So there's really no sense of danger. But you know what? As a kid, who cares, right? Because you think there's a deadly spider with Spider-Man in that web net. But uh, yeah, I will say it would have been nice to have it just be a little bit bigger and include two spiders in there. Just saying. So the grand finale occurs. You got multiple Mysterios. Spider-Man has to close his eyes, trust his spider sense. Mysterio has all these huge weapons. He does a big somersault into the air and lands right on Mysterio, knocking him out cold. The day is saved, and Spider-Man can go home and hopefully remember the next time he battles a supervillain to know where his origins lie and how to stop him 
earlier, right? I always thought that was a weird aspect. But hey, as weird as the episode got, nothing's more weird than Quentin Beck's blonde ponytail situation. Also, Spider-Man got him out of that costume really fast, right? Webbed him up something good, I tells you what. And in terms of the larger Toy Biz figures of that day and age, you have Mysterio, you have Spider-Man setting this up on your shelf or for taking photos as such for this video. Yeah, it's just pretty cool to see them all together. I don't know why I have such a fascination with action figures holding their own versions of action figures of themselves, right? It doesn't make any sense, but it's cool. You can have uh, Mysterio holding <laughs> the little creature monster. You got Spider-Man holding Mysterio, putting him on. He's like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put you on this giant mechanical wheel, right? See how you like it. But in all honesty, overall for this play case, I would say the Scorpion one did it better. But in terms of pulling things out from the episode, in fact, the latter part of this entire episode and creating a toy out of it, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of great detail. There's a lot to tell me that, yes, they watched Spider-Man the Animated Series. They did their homework. They really liked the Menace of Mysterio. And while it doesn't exactly fit all too well, much like the Scorpion one kind of came together, this one still has a lot of fun play elements and would be awesome for your Spider-Man the Animated Series collection. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the Menace of Mysterio, the Wonder Studios play case featuring Mysterio by Toy Biz and Bluebird for 1996-1997. Did you have this set? And if you did, tell me where you got it. If you're overseas, I'd love to know where you got it as well. That's something I'm trying to figure out where exactly they sold these. I would love to get a name. So if you know, definitely let me know. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we got more play cases on the way. It might be few and far between. Just FYI, these are fairly hard to come by sometimes. But uh, rest assured, we will get through them all somehow one day. Just stick with me. We got a lot more Spider-Man the Animated Series on the way. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 